What's up YouTube, Jason here, Morph Mixology Reptiles. Welcome back to the channel. This week's video is gonna be super quick. Just gonna show you a new project that we're working with and introduce you to a new buddy of mine who we're doing said project with. Super great guy. Uh, just, I'm really excited about this one. Uh, if you've been following on Instagram, you've already seen it, you know what's going on. Of course, Morph Mixology on Instagram and Facebook. You should be following us there anyway. Uh, as you can see, there's some stuff around. Things are in a weird uh, position at the moment. Things are out of order. That's because I'm finishing some stuff in the room. I'll show you here in just a minute. Um, finishing some projects and that and getting ready for the upgrade over there, which I'll show you here in just a second. But I wanna try something. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work or how it's gonna look, but I've got the camera. It's not handheld at the moment. It's actually on, <laughs> on a selfie stick. This is my main tripod that you, that you see when I'm doing uh, freestanding video, when I'm stood back away from it. And then, don't look yet. And then over here, if I don't drop the camera, um, you know, just a regular gorilla pod that I use for normal handheld stuff. And then I actually got this thing called a switch pod. This was a, an Indiegogo project um, or Kickstarter, either way. It's kind of cool though. It's like a nice handheld, it's all metal and everything. But when you need to use it as a tripod, bam, look at that. It's all magnetic, tripod, set it up, you know, and then when you're done, just wham, just like that. So switch pod. Um, so I got to order a couple more ball heads like these so that they're all interchangeable. But this one right now, since I'm not using any of those, is actually on a selfie stick. I might have to speak up a little bit. I don't know how this is gonna work, but now you guys are a good uh, two and a half, three feet away, so I got all kinds of room for activity. So uh, anyway, just wanted to show you this little, little uh, shot here to see how this looks, it's any better. You can see a lot more of the room now, and you can see what's going on behind me. You shouldn't be able to tell what's in that cage yet, which is good, because I'm not ready to introduce her. It's coming very soon though, just give me time. She had a big meal last week, so I'm gonna give her some time to process all of that and maybe shed and look perfect and then we'll introduce you to her. Um, that uh, project, this project here, is gonna look so much different in a few weeks. So stay tuned for that, I got some big plans. And this wall is also getting uh, a treatment and an upgrade. So this selfie stick thing is pretty cool. It's heavy. Even with my smaller um, EOS M50 that I use, it's kind of heavy out that far, but for some cool long shots and maybe with uh, some more people or whatever in the background, you got a lot more uh, a lot more real estate, a lot wider shots. So anyway, let's go ahead and set you back up on the tripod because this will be way easier without something in my hands and show you this new project we're working with. Okay, so again, please excuse, excuse the mess. Uh, I am in the process of doing a bunch of projects, but I just double checked because they were together over the past few days getting ready or uh, in the breeding process. So I double checked, they are not locked, they're separated. Uh, the deed is done, so to speak. It's actually their second lock of the year. So super excited about that. We're actually off to a great start. Two confirmed locks with them already. They've got good body size. They're both still eating really well. So let me go ahead and show you the male first, I think that'd be fine. So this little guy, this one's actually ours, I guess if, because we uh, went in on this project together. They're both kind of dirty, because obviously uh, snake making is a kind of a dirty task. So they've got some smudges on them and stuff like that, but all the while, super cool. So what we got here, I'll get out of the light, is a pastel pied, oh, it's coming to say hi. A pastel pied, 100% het albino. Pastel pied, 100% het albino. This male is actually proven, proven breeder. He's uh, going on about 1800 grams now, he looks great. He's got a couple of a couple of little spots on him, it's really cool, like that. These are just black pigmented scales. So he's got a couple of little polka dots on him. And otherwise, super, super high white, little bit of pattern on the tail. But 
Great temperament, looks awesome. It's kind of hard to tell in this light because he's actually backlit, unfortunately, in this room at the moment. But yeah, pastel pied, 100% head albino, that's the male. Don't have a name for him yet. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Actually, I'll go ahead and put him back in his tub now that they're done. And then his girlfriend, big girl, she is about 2,500 grams or so, and all dirty as well. Just get ready to shed, it looks like. Is this girl. Let me get you guys into a little better light. I think you'll appreciate this a little better. Is this girl, which is a Pastavi, Pastel Mojave, albino, obviously. See those nice pretty red eyes? And she is 100% head for pied. So obviously the goal here is albino pieds, pastel albino pieds, pastavi albino pieds, super pastel mojave albino pieds, the whole nine yards. Um, we could produce more albinos that are head pied, more pieds that are head albino, the whole, the whole shebang. But this big girl is named Tannis and she is actually owned by my partner in this game, or in this pairing. Doing really well, eating well, looks good. Like I said, two confirmed locks so far. So really excited to see what comes of these two. Uh, Mojave Pines are awesome, so I'm curious to see how the Mojave Pine looks in albino. And hopefully get a bunch of albino pines that we can keep back. So I mentioned him a couple times now, the person that I'm working with on this project, um, his name's Brian, and Brian McCourt, actually, if you wanna be, uh, get a full name out there. And he actually has two accounts, and I really would really appreciate it if you actually go follow both, especially if you're into tattoos, because Brian is a exceptional tattoo artist in Ohio. And he made me, we started talking about a couple things, and. Uh, we started talking about logos, and this is how we met many months back. Uh, but he actually made me this, which is his rendition of our Martini Snake logo. And I am blown away. Like, that is super cool. It looks awesome. Uh, the design is incredible. He just did that uh, on a whim just to show me what, he, what he's capable of. Um, and it's entirely possible that that's going to end up being a tattoo at some point because it's cool. It's, you know, it kind of. Uh, kind of commemorates what we did here, getting over our fear of snakes, getting into breeding, uh, you know, the brand, so to speak, without putting my logo specifically in a tattoo. Um, it fits the kind of traditional style that I've already got. And so, yeah, that, uh, that looks super cool. I'm really, really thankful that he made that. But, so his tattoo account is Brian Red Rose. Uh, Red Rose Tattoo in Ohio. I'll put the I'll put the address and the Facebook and everything for the tattoo parlor and his uh, tattoo account and his snake account, which he recently started, Sailor Serpents. Um, super cool. He made that logo too. It looks awesome. I really like the design. It's kind of got that Miami Vice feel or um, Hotline Miami feel, excuse me. And it's just a cool look. It's, it's neat. So, he, uh, so we're paired together on this one. We're actually doing a couple of pairings together, but this, this is a set that we went in together on um, to buy the animals. Thank you, Tim Thompson, by the way, if you're watching. Tim Thompson from the Serpent Chamber. I'll put his information in the description down below. Incredible quality animals. Super nice guy. Worked with us on the deal. It was, uh, it was just awesome. I could not have asked for a better transaction. So Tim Thompson, Serpent Chamber, down in the description below as well. But uh, Brian and I went in on this deal together, you know, Whatever you think on breeder loans or partnering up on things, that's you. That's fine. If you if you think it's cool and you do it, awesome. If you think, hell no, I'm not going there, I respect that as well. I appreciate if you respect our choice to go ahead and do it. So that's not a debate I want to get into in this video or in the comments. So just don't even bother. Keep it on Facebook in one of the groups, I guess. But... Yeah, we're doing a couple of different pairings, Brian and I. That one we went in together. He sent me uh, another female that I'm breeding for him as well to get started because his collection's brand new, it's getting going. He's bought a couple of stuff from us, which was cool. And uh, 
hopefully out of these we'll get some good stuff for them to keep and get their collection started and next year or so he can start breeding himself so um that's gonna do it for today you guys I told you a quick video i really appreciate it i hope it stays you know around 10 minutes so i can't really tell by looking at the camera uh either way lots of stuff going on as i told you last week i'm trying to get back in the groove of things we're doing a lot of stuff in the room right now i've taken a bunch of days off over the next few weeks to try to get some projects finished that is coming i keep talking about it i'll try to introduce you to her maybe next week or the week after next week's going to be a busy week for me because i've got a I've got about an eight hour round trip drive I have to uh, to do to get some supplies for what is coming of that and the wall behind you guys. Uh, so stay tuned, we've got a lot of stuff coming. And as you can see from the breeder stuff, uh, season two is well on its way. I've already got friends with ovulation, so hopefully we're not far behind. But that's it for this week. As always, like, subscribe, share, comment down below what you think. Head over and uh, just spam the hell out of Brian's accounts let's get him a bunch of followers thanks again to tim thompson for hooking us up with this pair and i'll see you guys next time see it